brothers, getting such a perfect weld on a small pipe is actually more difficult than on a big pipe. That's because the pipe is not only smaller, but the wall is also higher. One wrong move, and you'll burn a big hole straight through. For this kind of work, we can't use continuous welding. The most reliable method is intermittent spot welding, adding it one spot at a time. Now, some friends might ask, what's there to teach about spot welding? Isn't it simple? But that's a common misunderstanding among many welders. In fact, spot welding also requires skill. First of all, the current. We use a 3.2 millimeters diameter E6013 or J422 welding rod, and the current is generally set above 100. Press a little at a time and pay attention to the change of your electrode angle. Let's take a look at the detailed operation. As you can see, the key to spot welding is the rhythm of breaking the arc and striking the arc again. You must maintain a sense of timing. Wait until the previous spot glows red and then darkens, then start the next weld. It's recommended to use the technique shown in the video. Strike the arc in the middle, swing a little to the left, a little to the right, then break the arc. The advantage of this method is that it spreads the molten metal evenly, giving you a cleaner and more beautiful weld. That's how you get good bead formation. If you've learned something today, tap twice and hit the subscribe. Thanks for support Weldmaster India.